Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend tarot reading session for you Libra. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe. I hope you're doing great wherever you are right now. This reading for you Libra is the weekend reading. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Libra friends out there, okay? Before I start, Libra, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for your amazing support. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Libra, all of the details is in the website. Go to sunshine-tv.com. My email address, the authentic um, IG account or Instagram account it's listed in the website or go down to the description box below it's going to be there I've been informed that there is a scammer I do not offer a private reading right now so please be very vigilant and take care who you engage with I don't go around and offer private reading I'm too busy I've got three channels and I'm building another blog okay and speaking of blog, I have already uploaded a special channeled message. It's a video reading. It is a collective reading. It's applicable for all signs. If you're interested to pick up more intuitive message, I will put uh, the link down in the description box below. It is based on affirmation. It's really, really good. Okay? So that is me. Let's start your reading. What is the weekend message for you in love? General career finance and general situationship okay so i'm not reading reversals oh you've got friendship or three of cups in upright position the hermit card and you've got here the six of wands you've got the beginnings you've got the celebration and you've got here despair or the ten of swords okay let's start your reading um so i feel like for some of you um libra i don't know i feel like you're not being you're not your usual you're not you you're not your usual self to a group of people you know um you've got friends or family there's a gathering there's a gathering or a party or maybe a scenario where you're interacting with a group of people. It could be friends, family, or work colleague. It doesn't seem like you're interested to be around with this person. Because if, if you look at the two ladies in here, you know, they're really, really enjoying it. I feel like this is you. You know, you're well suited, um, but you're not cheers. You know, you're not really... You're not really interested to like physically or there, but mentally, emotionally, you check out. So it could be you are at a point of your life where you're reviewing the group of friends or social network that you have and you're feeling like you're not in alignment with the people, the person, the situation, the group of, you know, network that you have right now. You're kind of reviewing if this is really your friends because it seems to be you feel different you feel like you have outgrown them because clarifying the three of cups is the beginning the full card you are craving for something someone new okay you're craving for something different you know and it is about adventure you know the full card is about adventure and it's pointing towards friendship it's so it, it, it's it's pointing towards friendship networking work colleague relationship you know it could be you're not happy anymore or you're looking for something new um it's a routine you know it could be in a weekly basis you've got this yoga class or you've got this dance class or you've got this maybe it's work but you're looking for a new association, okay? I'll write it down. A new, a new association. You felt like you do not belong with this group of people, okay? You, it, it, it feels like you have outgrown them. That this is, I don't think you're upset or angry with them. It's just that you're craving for something new, something different, okay? So go for that. If, you're in, if your intuition is telling you, 
be adventurous, think out of the box, you know, join online community because you will meet a lot of new people, acquaintances. Eventually, you'll get, you will gain friends, you will learn, and then who knows, you might meet a lover in there. So um, listen to your intuition because it's telling you to expand your next expand your network okay um the the vibe i'm getting in here is there is a situation that you're not comfortable to be with you're sitting in a you're sitting in a group of friends or family or a colleague and you're not comfortable you're bored you do not like to be there but you need to be there it's it seems to be it's it's you're pleasing people, something like that. So do something that would, you know, expand your network. Think out of the box. And then the second reading is the Hermit card, the Four of Wands. Um, everything that you need um, in terms of supporting your growth, your health, your mental, your phys physical, physical, everything that you need is at home. I don't know. I really feel like, Libra, you're searching something outside your home to support you. Your productivity, your growth, your mental, your physical, your spiritual. It's telling you, you don't have to go far. It's within reach. It is at home. It's in your place. Look around you. It could be in one click. You could find a, a digital book, a meditation music. You've got a lot of food. You've got a YouTube to allow you to um, to inspire you to exercise. So in here, the Hermit card, you don't need to search further because everything that need you need, maybe this week and all the recipe in ingredients, it is in your home. You don't need to spend, you know. Happiness is free. Happiness is at home, okay? So, yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting in terms of health as well. Um, blue, you know, this, 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 um, this crystal, it's telling me um, mental, uh, mental wellness, physical wellness, spiritual wellness. It's, you don't need to spend too much. It is at home. Okay. And then lastly, this is a romantic reading. Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords. You have... A special person you have a special person a special relationship that you like this outgrown you are being invited to walk you know ten of swords ten of swords is the end of a very bad cycle okay this person she cannot stand up anymore because she's been too much she's been through a lot of sword you know, it could be self-inflicted pain or hurt, but Ten of Swords, it's the most painful, I'd say, card in the deck, apart from the Three of Swords. Because she has experienced all of the sword. You know, imagine this Ten of Swords, you know, um, in being, being inside a person's body. It's really painful. It's too much. Like, you are already dead in here. And they still stuck you with a sword. So in here, it's telling you if the situation and the scenario linked to a romantic person, a special person, a special relationship, a special person, does it give you joy? Does it give you value? Does it give you spark? If no, then it's time to walk away freely. You're free to walk away. It's telling you this one, the Ten of Swords. You can put your clothes on, put your lipstick, best dress, and walk away from this. Okay? No matter how special the connection, the relationship is, what matter in here is you. Okay? You matter. Um, because in here, as much as you would like to be with this special person or to maintain this special relationship or connection if you are scarred you know you're bare if you have not really respected yourself you know there's no self-love in here it's only pain this is torture you can walk away free to this 
it's telling you if you've been if if you struggle if there's a lot of worries and concern and struggle towards a special connection to, towards a special relationship it's telling you to empower yourself because it's free to walk away empower yourself by simply putting lipstick dressing up nice going out taking a walk it really puts your vibration high you know and it makes you more confident and if you're confident to yourself you're building respect and you're building boundaries because if this person has already um giving you this this is too much problem you need to rest your soul your mental your emotional before you can start all over again you know no matter how you want this to work if you are burnt out towards this special relationship no matter how special it is you need to recover first as a person collect yourself first put your lipstick on dressed up with your best clothes look in the mirror and as i say this it's 11 minutes and 11 seconds and look at yourself you're beautiful you're enough you're worth it okay so recover yourself take your power back and then maybe you could look at it again you know i'm not telling you to walk away from love i'm just simply telling you that before, you know you had enough you You've, you've gone through a lot so recover recuperate by building you know high vibrational frequency by loving yourself if you love yourself you will produce confidence if you're confident then you can set limitation and boundary and they will respect you yeah sometimes it does work if we're too limited if we're too give if if we give away so much you know people take advantage of us situation take advantage of us we're we're not charity <laughs> you are not a charitable institution <laughs> you know you're a person you also need a helping hand so in here you help yourself okay and the universe will help you with your new person with a new situation but it's need it need it's asking you to walk away and collect yourself be empowered again take your power back you know fix your crown and um so this is your reading thank you so much for tuning in thanks for being here i hope you like it if you do don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell check the description box below the channeled message um it is already available i'll see you soon guys bye bye